Hi sir, good morning. Yeah, hi, good morning. May I know your good name? Pawan Kumar sir, my name is Pawan Kumar. Yeah, okay Pawan. Can I have a resume? Yes sir. Okay. Yeah, okay Pawan. Uh, before starting the interview, quickly introduce yourself. So, my name is G. Pawan Kumar. I, am, I came from Shadnagar. So, currently I am living in Hyderabad for training purpose. Okay. So, I have recently graduated in the stream of computer science and engineering. Okay. Now, Shreyas Institute of Engineering Technology, Hyderabad. Yeah. So, I have done my 12th standard in Agra Junior Colleges, Hyderabad. Yeah, okay. So, I have done my schooling in Holy Spirit High School, Shabad. Yeah, okay. So, coming to my technical skills, I have knowledge in Python, SQL, HTML, CSS and JavaScript yeah, okay. and Django. Yeah, okay. And coming to my family background, I my father, my, I'm, my father name was Satya and we are four members of family. So my mother, my mother, and my I'm, and I have one sibling. Yeah, okay. So my hobbies are I am passionate about to become a software engineer, and in my free time I go with uh, listening to music and playing cricket games and etc. So this yeah. is all about me. Yeah, okay, fine. So you are good at which programming language? Python. Python. Yeah, okay. So can I go with the basics of Python? Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, fine for one, I, uh, like, uh, wow, we have uh, some data types in Python. Yes. Sir. Okay. So, can you give the difference between list and uh, tuple? Yes, sir. So, list is nothing but, uh, list, are, lists are the data structures that are capable of holding different types of data. And tuples are um, immutable objects, sequence of immutable objects that, uh, so, so tuples cannot be changed, so if they are immutable. Okay. And lists are mutable, so we can change, modify, and we can done multiple operations like insertion or deletion in the list. So tuple in tuple we cannot do the type that kind of operations. So in lists are represented by square brackets and tuples are represented by parentheses. So lists can support positive index and negative index. So tuples can also support positive index and negative index. So both lists and tuples are support uh, slicing. Yeah, okay. So so list can in Python list can take seventy two bytes empty empty list and that is all. Yeah, fine. In between you said that uh, list can uh, perform the slicing. Yes. Okay. So what is this concept of slicing in Python? Slicing is nothing but the subpart of the sequence. Okay. The subpart of the sequence uh, on the basis of index is called slicing. So in slicing there are five steps. So. First of all, slicing is uh, separated by using colon. So starting index, uh, ending index. In the middle, we, we place a separator operator colon. Okay. So first type is, we will give first starting index and colon uh, ending index. Okay. And second type is, we don't give any starting index and negative index, uh, ending index. Third type is, we will give starting index, but we don't give neg uh, ending index. Fourth okay. type is, we will give uh, we not give no starting index and we give uh, ending index. Fifth type is um, starting index, and ending index and uh, step value. We will give step value. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So, like, uh, okay, so while we are uh, like choosing the programming language, so we have multiple languages like yes. Java, Py uh, Python, C, Sharp, C, like multiple languages we have. So, every programming language is having uh, some features. Yes. Like that Python also having some features. So, can you name why you choose Python and what are the features of Python? Yes. First of all, Python is, Python is a language which okay. is readable, efficient and high level programming language okay. and it is interpreted language and as well as scripting language. It supports groups, groups concepts like classes, objects, inheritance and encapsulation, abstraction and polymorphism also. Okay. And Python supports large number of libraries like modules. We can import modules uh, and first we have to import modules like time, date, num, uh, role modules. And next one is Python is cross-platform cross language. We can use them Python in different environments like uh, iOS, uh, sorry, iOS, uh, Mac, in Mac, MacBooks and Windows. Windows and Linux, etc. Yeah. And yeah, fine, fine. Uh, okay, Pawan, in between the futures, you said that oops concept, like yes. uh, inheritance, you said abstraction, you said. So, can you give the definition of polymorphism? Yes. And is it possible? Can you give types also? Yes. Polymorphism, 
is is came from Greek. It 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 is having a Greek word. So poly means many, and morphism means poly means many. Morphism means forms. So having many forms is called polymorphism. Okay. So uh, identifiers with the same name, but yeah. having different actions. Multiple operations we can done on yes. this. It is called polymorphism. So example is. Yeah. Okay. No need example. What are the types involved in? Type. The types involved in polymorphism are uh, method overloading and mul uh, method overriding and operator overriding also in the um, type. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. So you said that method overloading and overriding. Over. So okay. Multiple method names having same name. Same. Okay. So which which polymorphism uh, like we have a method overriding and overloading. Over. Which one required two classes at least two classes to achieve this. method overloading method overloading and writing also i have two class no no ah, but first we need to define class yeah actually method overloading only require one class method overriding require two classes okay yes, if parent uh, yes, and sir. child having a same method same yeah okay fine fine no okay so like in python we have a functions yes okay what is a function function is a block of code okay uh, that performs a specific task or particular task So okay. function is defined by the keyword uh, def, okay. and the Python the syntax of the function is first we have to declare the function using def keyword, and we have to write a function name as well as of as per our requirements we can write the function name, and next we can write statements or logic, and we should uh, third line is we can write uh, function calling. We should make we should compulsory call the function uh, before uh, defining after defining the function. Okay, okay. So give me this one. How many types of functions we have? We have two types of built-in fun functions. First one is built-in functions. Second okay. one is user-defined functions. So, so oh, okay, 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 fine. Which function already it will coming from the existing libraries? Built-in functions. Yeah, so, fine, fine. That much enough. Okay, so we are passing some implicit arguments. Yes. Okay, is it necessary to pass? So, so in Python, okay. we. We passing implicit arguments, okay. but it is strictly not necessary. Okay. But we have to when we define function or method in the class, we have to expi explicitly uh, pass the self as argument. Okay. First argument we should pass first uh, self as argument. Okay. Then we can give any any number of arguments or parameters. So based on that, uh, in so we can it is not strictly necessary, but we can add. Uh, Uh, pass the parameters after we passing self parameter. First we need to. Uh, finally, you are saying it is necessary or not? It is necessary, not not strictly necessary. Okay, so it is conventional. Like uh, it is uh, when the requirement requirements required. required. Okay, if requirement required, we need to give, or else it can access. Okay, so fine. And I'm going with the like finally like uh, what are the immutable type data sequences we have? So in Python we have immutable data types like dictionary, set, and uh, lists. So dictionary is nothing but is ordered collection of the key value pairs. Okay. Each key value pair is known as items. So dictionaries are immutable, and we can uh, perform uh, some actions on the dictionaries. Like, uh, but uh, in dictionary values can be updated, not the keys. Yeah. So, okay. Fine. So, uh, okay. Okay. Uh. To call okay, you said whatever it is okay. So how you can call by using key value or value? Key. Okay. Key. So I am giving uh, one is a key. Raju is the value. Yes. Two is a key. Ramu is the value. I need to call Ramu. How you can call? Based on uh, key. Okay. What is the key? Key two. Two. Okay. So why this dis uh, why dictionaries are and sets are immutable in Python? So they are heterogeneous, means uh, they are odd, ordered, ordered ordered pairs. Okay. So we can pass uh, a different. They they can hold different types of data. Okay. You said that list and set. List. What is the difference list and set? List dif meaning. Ah, uh, difference between list and set. List and set. So list list are uh, list also uh, capable of holding different types of data. Okay. Set uh, they are. Unordered. Mainly, they they do not uh, allow duplicate values. Yes. The main difference is list can accept duplicate, set yeah. cannot. Cannot accept. Okay. 
So, uh, okay, Pawan, I think I could be theoretical, but I need to know one programming. So, uh, you are performed some numbering programs in Python? Yes, sir. Okay, can you reverse the number 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, first we need to take user input if mandatory, so or we can give the direct value n okay. is equal to 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, next we have to take the initial value, reverse value as a 0. So, we don't know what the value is. So, we initially take reverse as a 0. Next, we take while loop. For the, so this while loop means 1, 2, 3 means there are 3 iterations are there. So, we need to perform 3 iterations by using while loop. So, next one is, uh, uh, we need to get reminder. First, we need to get reminder by using modulo operator, n divided by 10. And next, we need uh, uh, reverse value. Reverse is, formula of the reverse is, reverse is equal to reverse into uh, reverse 10, 10 plus reminder. Reverse into 10 plus, reverse is equal to, reverse into 10 plus reminder. Plus or plus or. Star. Uh, 10 plus star into reverse 10 plus into 10, Reverse into 10 plus reminder. Plus remind. Not plus. So you need to use into times operator. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Uh, give one line of answer. How can you be give user inputs in Python? User inputs in Python by, by input functions we can give uh, uh, input from the user. So in that we have input function means we can take multiple multi not sing single value from the user but we can take multiple values from the user by using split function and format function or format method also so in the split functions we are getting multiple inputs in one line in python so format method also we can get the um, inputs as a string yeah fine, fine. Yeah, okay, Pawan, I think uh, I'm good with you and I think I completed my side. You have any queries to ask? No, sir. Yeah, okay, you can. Thank you. Yeah, okay, thank you.